I want to be like, hi, do I say hi? <laughs> I'm Kelly Gleason, an assistant professor in environmental science and management, and I've been awarded the Early Career Research Award. My work evaluates interactions of water, climate, and ecosystems. Specifically, I look at how forest fires in the headwaters alter snowpack storage and snow melt. After a fire occurs, the forest is more open, so there's more sunlight energy available to the snowpack. Standing dead, charred forest sheds black carbon and debris into the snowpack, which darkens it. After a fire occurs, snow melts earlier, and faster. As the snow disappears from the landscape earlier, the drought period is prolonged, extending the summer fire season and the period of water scarcity in late summer. I have two big projects currently, one in the Western Oregon Cascades, working with the Army Corps and the USGS. We are using a multimodal approach with a bunch of weather stations and field monitoring and airborne imagery to characterize fire effects on snow processes and then embed them in hydrologic models and improve forecasting and hazards risk analysis of debris flows and flooding downstream. My second big project is working with, with NASA in the boreal forest of Alaska. Boreal forests are 10% of the terrestrial landmass. The reflectivity of snow in these regions is the number one uncertainty or error in global climate models. So we are evaluating the reflectivity of snow in our measurements and how wrong those measurements are in increasing scale. So from a person on the ground, a drone, an aircraft, and then up to a satellite-based measurement of snow reflectivity. When the snow is on the ground, it's very bright and cools planet Earth. When the snow melts, it is forested or permafrost, and so it's dark and absorbs much of that incoming sunlight and warms Earth. So the reflectivity or the brightness of the surface is super important for how the climate models heat Earth and predicting global warming into the future. My passion for my work starts with a love of water in all forms. Water is the, the conduit that connects all life on Earth. In the headwaters, in our mountain regions where snow accumulates and melts each year, is the beginning of of life. It is where water originates and flows downstream and connects ecosystems, forests, fish, people, and really the watershed is the community. It's our it's our home. My name is Kelly Gleason and my research evaluates how forest fires affect snow water storage and snow melt and influence downstream water resource availability.